Hi everybody, in this video we are going to how to use OpenCV inside Android native and by native I mean using C++ So we have a lot to cover, let's get started The first thing is that we need is to download the Android OpenCV SDK uh, So we will go to the OpenCV website, opencv.org and then under releases we are going to see the different platforms and we are going to choose Android This is going to start download the SDK automatically, the Android, the, the OpenCV Android SDK for us. This is just a zip file. So we're going to download the zip, zip file and extract it to some, some, some place on our hard drive. Now I've already done that, so I'll cancel the download. And this is where uh, I, uh, this is the extracted SDK. So I put it under a uh, C tools OpenCV Android SDK. And the next thing that uh, uh, that we want to do is define some global environment variable that is going to reference this location. So under environment variables, I have here OpenCV Android, which is just referencing the location of the SDK. So this is the setup on on your PC to get the Android uh, OpenCV SDK. And now we can open the Android Studio and we are going to start a new project from the project templates we are going to choose the native C++ let's name this application OpenCV native demo uh, the default toolchain finish now it's going to create the project and it's going to run uh, run some Gradle sync stuff. Uh, it's going to take uh, a minute or two, so I'll be back when it finish. Okay, so it finished. Uh, everything is successful so far, and uh, we got our uh, main activity that we don't need currently. And we will see here that we have a CPP directory which includes uh, the CMake file for our native lib and our library a single file so far so let's talk a little bit about what is uh, uh, what is the native lib that we are going to we are going to build here let's use paint so if this is if this is our android application um so now we are going to have two two modules so to speak, in, in our application. We are going to have the, let's call it managed. So this is the managed one, which uh, uh, which is the Java or Kotlin world. And we are going to have the native one, native, uh, which is the C++. And as you know, the managed one, uh, we are going, we are going to build. This is our APK. So all this, uh, this and more. But this is our APK. And inside the APK, the 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 Java uh, is going to be compiled into uh, like we compile Java dot class or in Android it's dot dex, but it's the idea. This is the tar This is the. Uh, this is the link. Uh, uh, this is what the build uh, uh, produce our sort like binary, and in the native, in the in, in the native part, what we are going to build is just a, a, a shared library. Dot uh, um, so file. So this so file is going to be our native native lib so this is what we are going to build and a, a, a shared shared library and um, which we are going to call a native lib and in order to call from the manage world to the uh, to the native world we are going to use what uh, uh, what is called jni so here we are going to have gen, uh, the jni layer which is java native interface i believe so it's going to be here and 
this is how we are going to call from the manage world to the native world and we are going to return results okay so natively this is the c++ part of our application and kotlin is going to be our uh, managed part what we all know uh, let's keep this wrong okay so the CMake file is the built configuration for our native lib library and we already got this from uh, from the project template uh, Android Studio did it, uh, created this uh, this configuration for us and now we want to include since we want to use OpenCV we have to uh, to include OpenCV definitions in our in our uh, build file so open CV and this is what we are going to do now so we'll define some variables that will be used by the OpenCV build files so we are going to use the OpenCV as a static library and then we define the location where the library is uh, so this is the OpenCV dir, and here we are going to use the environment variable that uh, we defined OpenCV Android and if you remember OpenCV Android points to C tools so it points here and inside the uh, OpenCV Android SDK under SDK native jni here we have the cmake file and all the make files for opencv so we want to include uh, this inside our cmake file and opencv make files will uh, once we import them will define all the uh, include directories and and the different libraries that we will need to to link against and all this stuff uh, so this is what we are doing set open cv dir slash sdk slash native slash jni and now we'll do the actual sort of import open cv wired so this is going to take a uh, is going to take them make the, the configuration files from here and this configuration files is going to do uh, is going to define all the include stuff and libraries that we need to use uh, OpenCV uh, so this is the first part uh, here we are adding the library our library that we like we are defining uh, the library that we want to build so we said that uh, it's going to be a shared library we are going to call it native lib and this is the source file of our library um, now we if you want to use uh, uh, to use log logger from uh, from your native code uh, so uh, you need the uh, the log lib uh, which is part of uh, part of the ndk uh, so this is including including the log lib uh, what we also uh, would want is in order to manipulate bitmap in a, in a native uh, we need to include a, the JNI graphics lib so find library JNI graphics lib JNI graphics so we include JNI graphics and the last part this is where we are linking our native library and we need to provide all the libraries that we referenced so we have open cv libs now this variable open cv libs is as i said once we import all the make files from open cv it's going to define for us uh, this this variable open cv libs and the one that we did here jni graphics libs okay this is this is our configuration file and this is the template uh, 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 native uh, native lib 
file a C++ file that we got from the template uh, let's see uh, let's try to build our project and see if our configuration is correct so this build is going to take a while I'll pause the video and come up oh, already got an error package uh, Find one. See. Open C. Open. Wired. In this. And here. Make. Okay, so it started to build. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so now our build completed and it was successful. Uh, so let's go and write some code. Okay, so our library, our native library, currently uh, currently has uh, only this this single file, and this is a regular C plus plus file. It's totally valid to to do all your OpenCV stuff in this file, uh, but it. it I mean, it's not cool uh, because it, it's really better uh, to keep your project in order. So it's nicer if you keep the native lib, the native lib file to define all the GNI functions. And to do the actual work, we are going to create new new C plus plus files. So we're going to create a header file. Utils. This will be header, source file, CV, utils. Now, as I said, you don't have to do it. You can do all your stuff, all your OpenCV stuff in natively. That's perfectly fine. Uh, but um, one of the benefits of doing, keeping keeping your OpenCV outside of the native lib is that these files uh, can be totally cross-platform. So if you keep this file, uh, C++ you keep you don't put any Android specific stuff in here uh, no no logging no bitmap manipulation or keep this like strictly open CV you can use this you, you can use this very file on your iOS project so these files are cross platform and this is a great benefit um, okay so this is this and uh, now we, we we added a new we added a new C plus plus file and it warned us that uh, this C plus plus file is not part of of any library. So we are building we are building the native lib and here in the sources we said that this lib is, includes only the native lib CPP. So he wants let's include the OpenCV utils. Okay. So now our um. And now our file is part of uh, it's part of the library. Uh, we'll do a little sync. Okay, and let's write something. So you can see here that under CPP we have include OpenCV. Uh, so in the CMake when we did this fine package, it uh, uh, I said that it adds all the all the headers that we need. It adds the the include pass, the OpenCV headers to the include pass. So this is what we have here. So we can include OpenCV two. Now it will not it will not find it at the beginning. Only after we we'll build the it's going to find this uh, uh, this header. So let's ignore this. This error for now. And using namespace TV. And let's define a method. So my flip, we are going to get an open CV matrix. And and we go this is going to flip the image and another one is going to be let's do blur at SRC and float. Sigma. and let's define do the implementation 
Okay, let's keep it empty for now and let's build. Okay, build finished successfully. So now, okay, so you can see that now he's not complaining about the uh, about OpenCV. Let's see, open, yeah, we have OpenCV and we have a telesense of all the header files and now is fine with this too okay cool uh, flip so let's do flip is we have an opencv method which is just flip which gets input array so input and we are going to do an, an in place flip so we are going to use the same image and the flip code is going to be zero which means we are flipping the image vertically and Blair is just going to be a Gaussian Blair. So Gaussian Blair, we need to include OpenCV edge processing. Okay. And this is going to be in place as well. Okay. kernel size so we don't use kernel size it's going to be computed uh, automatically from sigma okay this is just uh, for demonstration it's good enough let's build and while it's building let's go and talk a little bit about how we define uh, our JNI method so if you remember our little drawing here uh, so now inside native we defined uh, we defined two methods uh, so we have my flip and my blur and now we want to we want to expose we want to expose this method to the manage world so we can call them and for this we need to uh, to use jni to do it in the jni layer uh, so define defining uh, uh, defining JNI uh, functions. This is a rather complicated uh, uh, standard. So this is where we are just going to copy paste the sample image that we got here. Basically, it includes the complete, the full namespace of of the activity. Uh, so this is the namespace activity: Java Com, VYW, blah 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 main activity and then then the name of the method that you you want to expose uh, so you can call it whatever you want okay but for consistency we are going to keep the uh, the name of uh, uh, my flip and my blur so we have my flip and then the the uh, uh, the arguments so the first two are always the JNIV environment and some and uh, this I don't know honestly what is this I don't know but this is these are always the first two and then we are going to get a bitmap from uh, uh, from the application so we will get a bitmap and we will we will also receive a bitmap where to put the result in so we are going to get an input bitmap and an output bitmap and this function uh, doesn't return anything so it's just void okay so this is the flip method now we can define okay so we want to Include our OpenCV utils. Uh, so we are going to we are going to define uh, uh, some matrix, an uh, OpenCV image, and we need to convert from from Android bitmap to OpenCV uh, a matrix. Uh, so for this, we uh, we have a we have a method that is provided by uh, OpenCV which is a, a bitmap to map 
to Matt. Uh, this is part of uh, OpenCV in Java, and we want this in C++, so we will have to go search for this method. We'll go to OpenCV GitHub, and we are going to check to search for bitmap to Matt and this is the email this is the function in utils java basically it's just calling to the native function so this is what we want here under utils cpp this is the method bitmap to mat so let's take it Uh, this method, as you can see, it, it's defined as a JNI function, and we don't need this as a JNI. So we're going to split this and this bit map to mat. Okay. Yeah. So J class. We are going to get a bitmap. And this instead of uh, this is just a pointer to uh, to matrix, so we can get already a matrix. Let's call it the destination. Now Android bitmap info. So remember that we uh, yeah the JNI graphics lib. Okay, so this is where this Android bitmap info uh, is in. We just have to uh, include Android bitmap. Okay, and we don't have this. Now let's ignore the logging for now. So this is all good. CVT color. Okay, so let's include. Um, Open CV to call and open CV to image. Okay, logging no for now. Class log. Okay, we don't have this exception class, so Do this okay? And this is the general idea, uh, but this is the bitmap to uh, to Matt, and then here we can call it bitmap to Matt. So it needs this environment variable, and then bitmap in and so c and false all the last one so one important thing about this method so what this method does is it, it, it's taking a bitmap and converted it to opencv image now in the most part it's just taking the bytes from the bitmap and copying it as is to uh, uh, to open CV matrix uh, if the input bitmap is in a different format so we take care of translating the format and all this stuff but uh, if we look for uh, if we take a look in in this case so uh, if the bitmap is just a, a regular RGBA with 8 bits per pic uh, 8 bits per pixel so this is where uh, um, uh, this is where it's just uh, uh, creating, initializing a new OpenCV matrix, and it's just it's just using the uh, uh, the same uh, the same pixels. Okay, so so it's just copying the bytes from uh, from the bitmap into uh, into in into the OpenCV image and. What it means is that the OpenCV image is going to be in RGBA as well, and not uh, and 
and not as the OpenCV standard, with, which is BGRA. So you just have to uh, you just have to uh, to note that. So when you are calling a bitmap to Matt, you are getting an OpenCV image, but the the color space of this uh, uh, of this image is going to be a RGBA. Uh, and not like the OpenCV standard of BGRA. Okay, so it, 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 this is something that you you'll have to remember. This uh, we don't care for our method that the color space is RGBA, so we are not going to do any conversion. Uh, but you can do conversion if if you want. Okay, so we 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 got our bitmap, we converted it to OpenCV image, and now we can call a uh, my flip and just provide uh, uh, provide the OpenCV image, and now we want to take this SLC image and copy it into our bitmap uh, uh, output. So for that we have a met to bitmap. Back to OpenCV source code, we have here bitmap to met. No bitmap to map, we want this, sorry. Mat to bitmap. Okay. So let's do this. And once again it is written as a as a JNI uh, function. Void mat to bitmap. Don't need env. Don't need this one. And again, here we are going to get a matrix and not a pointer, like so. No logging. No logging. No logging. No logging. And also the exception. Okay. And again, remember the uh, uh, the color space thing of the the, the format of the uh, of the pixels uh, RGBA BGRA. So this method it gets uh, an OpenCV image and it expects this image to be in RGBA format. Because what it's doing again, if if the bitmap, let's take it the common case that is just an RGBA of eight bit per pixel, and our matrix is a four channel one, so it's just uh, doing a copy from the matrix into a, into a temporary uh, matrix which is referencing uh, the bytes, the pixels of the bitmap. Okay, so. Pixels is just referencing the bitmap bytes, and we are copying the memory of of our SLC uh, matrix. We are just copying it to pixels, keeping the same format. So it's really important that this matrix that you provide here is going to be in RGBA. And now we can uh, we can do this, Matt to bitmap and our, our matrix and app out pause. Okay, so this is our flip method. Now let's do my blur. So in blur we have the bitmap in, the bitmap out, and we also want the sigma, which is J float. Again, we take the we, we take the input image, we convert it to matrix, call my blur on SLC and sigma, and we copy the output to the bitmap output. Let's build back. 
when the build is done okay build is uh, build is done successfully and we are done now with our native part uh, with the native part of our application and now let's go to the manage part and something with this native code uh, so we can close all this go to our main activity and activity main okay so this text and let's uh, let's bring uh, let's bring in a test image i change it to project view under resources new android resource directory Global. and now my image is is it's it's a relatively a uh, small image because i want to do real-time processing on the image and uh, and doing real-time processing we need the image uh, uh, not to be too big too large okay so i want to bring in the image as an embedded resource and i don't want android to rescale my image according to density so i create a uh, no and no dpi and no density and no dpi a uh, uh, folder here and now i'm just going to take my test image and drag it here okay so uh, this is the image it's a uh, uh, 640 by uh, 427 and i want to keep the image uh, this size when when i'm displaying it in the application because i want to real-time processing um, so this is it now let's bring an image view rubble let's take our mountain okay this can be here 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 layout wheel constraint let's do it here so the width can be just h parent and the height and the proportion zero dp and there is it just just view to bound okay let's see here okay so this is how our image is going to look like looks good and now let's take a button so here stand here stand this is our this is going to be our flip button so let's name it btn flip and the text flip and uh, for the blur blur thing we are going to use a slider if the sick bar Okay, so again, sixteen, sixteen. Play out with your strength. Okay, sixteen. And our slider, uh, so it's going to be between zero and hundred, and we are going to name it. This is going to control the sigma of the blur. So let's go SLD for slider sigma. Okay, so this is uh, this is our uh, our controls. Uh, looks good and now let's go to the main activity and we removed we don't have this uh, sample text let's 
let's define an event handler for uh, uh, for the flip button so one uh, let's do visual studio style something like this right alt enter import and now back here click Okay, and here we want to to just flip the image. So we want to call my flip. Okay, but but no my flip. Uh, so we need to define uh, my flip as an external as an external function, and we have a sample here uh, that was created for us by the project template. Uh, so this is this is important. Okay, this is static. It's going to be called only once system load library native lib okay remember remember this drawing okay so we want from manage to call uh, uh, to be able to call to our native library so in order to call the library we first have to load the library into into memory so this is what this line is doing it's loading our native lib library into into memory and now we can define uh, uh, define our methods so we have my flip which gets bitmap in which is just a bitmap and bitmap out which is just a bitmap okay. and we also have my blur which gets an uh, in bitmap out bitmap sig sigma which is float okay so we define this as an external functions and now we here we can call a uh, uh, my flip and my blur okay but first we need to get uh, uh, we need to get our test image um, so since we want to do uh, uh, to do real-time processing and always keep updating the updating the image so we are going to take we are going to define uh, our bitmaps and uh, uh, only once so this is going to be our slc uh, bitmap and st bitmap and here inside on create and so let's load the source bitmap bitmap actually load source this is our Inside. Okay, so this is our uh, our original image, and and then we are going to create the DST. Uh, bitmap we are just going to copy the source bitmap okay so now we have the source bitmap and the destination bitmap and we also have the bitmap that is inside the uh, inside image view okay so you you will see why why, why we do it uh, like this um, uh, in a minute. So in 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 our flip, uh, so just for the sake of uh, uh, of testing, let's do the let's do the flip. So we can call my flip and provide the SLC bitmap 
into a PST bitmap. Oh, these are nullable, so it wants like so. So, okay, so um, we are taking the original. Uh, the original image and we uh, flip it into a DST and now we want uh, 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 we want to update the view so we want the view to hold the DST bitmap uh, so image view set bitmap bitmap okay so once we are going to take the source image, we are going to flip it and copy the bytes into DST bitmap, and it's going, hopefully, it's going to be reflected uh, on the screen. And now here we are loading, uh, we are loading, we're loading a new image into the image view. So this thing here is not really it, this one. Okay, this is, it's not really necessary, but it's nice for design time that we can see how the image looks like. Uh, okay, now I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to run this project and launch uh, uh, launch the uh, Android emulator. So it's going to take a minute or two. So I'll be back. Okay, so we have the application in the emulator, and now let's flip it and it crash. Okay, let's move this away and let's see. No implementation found for blah 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 blah. My flip. Okay, so you see here we are calling uh, my flip and now and now he is, he is, he is searching uh, in, inside the loaded libraries that. That he can, he is searching for this method, for the myflip method that matches uh, matches this uh, uh, this signature of uh, myflip bitmap bit bitmap out void, and so this is typically happens when we forget to load the library. But here we did we did load the library. Now tried so oh it, it's also saying here what uh, uh, what method names he search for. So this is the names that resemble the JNI. So let's go to native lib. We don't find this one. Java com VYW open CV demo main activity my flip. My, my flip. Okay, flip. So it should be my flip. Uh, so now let's run again the application. and flip okay and if flip to the image so now if we flip again nothing and nothing happens uh, this is this makes sense because basically what we are doing in our flip we are just taking the slc bitmap which is the upright image and we flip it into a, a dst uh, but uh, uh, but when we try to flip again we take again the upright image so uh, what we can do or what basically what we should do is always take the image from the image view and then and, and flip it but uh, if we'll do this it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be an issue with our blur that we'll do uh, we'll do in a second so let's do the blur and then we'll fix the flip thing Okay, so in order to do the blur, we need uh, uh, we need to handle the uh, the slider the slider events. So inside the on create, we have CLD sigma set on. So we are going to be the listeners. Okay. On progress change uh, so we don't care about this and 
we don't care about this. Okay, on progress change. So this is where we do. Uh, this is where we want to do the. Uh, we want to do the blur. Uh, so let's let's define a blur method. To blur. Okay, so we are going to call. Uh, first, we need to get the the sigma value from uh, from the slider. Now, the value in the slider is it is between zero to hundred, and sigma cannot be cannot be zero, so it needs to be like a, a greater than zero. So we are going to use a, a max here, and it's a either get, bring the maximum between zero point one or SLD sigma dot progress. Now this is uh, this is integer, and uh, yeah. this can be a very uh, between zero to hundred. Now sigma of fifty or sixty, it's it's very large sigmas. The the blur is going to be slow, so we'll divide it by ten. Um, so okay, import. Oh, it's flow. Um. So what we do, we convert progress from 0 to 100 to 0 0.1 to 10. So this is going to be the sigma. And now we can do blur. And again, we take the source bitmap. The Destination bitmap and sigma. Not do blur, just by blur. By blur. Okay. And here on progress change, we can just call to uh, do blur. Okay, so when the slider is moving, uh, we are going. We we're always going to take the original image and 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 blur the image according to the sigma, and it's going to be displayed in our in in our image view. And where when we are flipping the image, so what we want to do is actually flip the original image and then reapply the blur if there is a blur uh, in if there is a blur according to the slider. So the flip is going to be on the original image and not into the image view, the destination image. And then we just call uh, do blur. So if there is a blur, we are going to flip and blur. So it's going to look like we are flipping the blurred image. Um, so this is it. Let's rerun the application. And hopefully, Okay, so we have the slider, and see, we are moving the slider, and we are blurring the image, and now we are, we are flipping, uh, so it looks like we are flipping the, uh, the image views, but uh, practically we are taking the original image, we flip it, and reapply the blur according to, according to this. And this wraps up our tutorial on how to use OpenCV inside Android. Uh, turned out to be quite a uh, quite long one uh, but uh, I think uh, I think it's a good one so I hope you enjoyed and make the most of out of it bye bye okay w one more thing we talked quite a lot about this uh, about this native lib shared library that we are building so if we go and a build analyze apk and look inside our apk file so we see that we have a lib folder and inside the lib, fo lib folder we have our lib native okay we have one per cpu architecture um, so this is our native lib that we built it's it's bundled into our into our apk uh, so that's it bye bye